Hi everyone, today is Monday, 28th of May, and I'm flying back home today. And I'm currently at the Madyadova airport, uh, which is the south of Moscow. And I just wanted to make a little video for you to look at, uh, show you the airport, how everything is organized. There are still people, and I know that, that think Russia is underdeveloped country and um, a lot of things are quite backwards. There are. Uh, certainly there are quite a lot uh, outside of Moscow and everybody always says that Moscow is not representative of an entire Russia but this is one of the central hubs central airports there are several airports there is Sheremetyevo which is north of Moscow and this is south uh, southeast of Moscow or south um, I just show you what's happening around um, they have revamped it many years ago uh, quite a few years ago now um, it was quite sad actually. It was pretty much like our Heathrow Terminal 1 or 2 when they used to be old uh, versions of this and they've done it pretty well. Uh, I'll show you around. I'm not going to go into how much everything costs because it's just uh, more expensive than uh, any other prices. Um, a, even in Moscow, it's no point. Duty free in Moscow is very expensive. So if you're flying in and out, um, your bargain will be in Heathrow, Heathrow, not in Moscow, the Madyadova airport, that's for sure. So also there are, um, let me just turn around and I'll show you the view. I'm actually positioned quite well right in the center and I'm on the second floor, so bear with me. So you can see it's massive avenue there. Those are cars coming down to, to, to the airport. The road has been uh, relayed pretty well. Um, I was told by the taxi driver that it is to do with the um, World Cup, um, football club, but it's not, uh, it's just been done quite recently actually. The road is really, really smooth and nice. A little bit outside of, of the central area is not as good. Uh, yellow taxis are similar to New York style, but it's actually called Yandex, Yandex taxi which is part of Uber now. Uber came to Europe, came to, the, to Russia, and um, as Taxi Drive explained to me, they will be merging uh, together around June or July time. The prices are very competitive, so they pretty much knocked out many, other, um, many of the other taxi companies um, across the country. Moscow is very popular with that. In fact, it was very good. Where we stayed, as you probably know from previous video, was um, we stayed uh, outside of Moscow, uh, which is a region, Moscow region, but it's, it's new Moscow basically. Um, and taxi came in three minutes. Um, they're circling around. The system is very good, like Uber, Uber system. What else is there? Um, airport itself is very clean. Um, as you come out, so I'm facing the street now, as you come out uh, from arrivals, arrivals, international arrivals there, and local arrivals on that side and um, they pretty much don't meet each other you can you have to go all the lengths across but um, as you come out uh, British Airways arrivals there uh, you come out and there are exits what I'm particularly impressed with is the security so I'll try to do it now as you can see there security uh, they scan everything uh, back in 2011 I think it was February must have been February 2011. Uh, there was a British Airways flight uh, that, at the point of exit uh, arrivals, um, there was an explosion. It was a terrorist act, and since then they have put these measures in place. And in fact, I think we should all have it in Europe. Actually, it's quite, quite secure way. I feel much more comfortable, much, secu much more secure um, inside of airport, but not. Um, we don't have it. I mean, when you think about Heathrow, anyone actually can come in and do whatever they want. And we still haven't learned. We should put these measures in place. We have enough money in the country to actually do this. Um, admittedly, it could create some traffic um, during busy times, but it's best to leave the house earlier and be here in advance and then risk um, life. So I believe those systems are, the security scanning system uh, is actually very, very good. They're just scanning your luggage, uh, scanning everything, make, to make sure there are no explosives. Um, unfortunately, this lesson, um, you know, cost a few lives, but it's at the end, 
they they made improvement what else um burger king a lot of things like we have in england um there are shops service is good very quick um everyone is polite so i'm quite impressed actually it's been some time uh, since i've been i've been here uh, last must have been a few years now um i think it was 2012 actually i actually went into moscow outside of the airport another point is if anyone is traveling on business try to not to take taxi uh, don't don't go into these discussions as you come out and if you need to go to central moscow the easiest way is express uh, air express so as you come out of there um, British Airways a flight comes out at their own in there all arrivals and you go across go to the left and from inside the airport from the terminal you can go into the um, um, cash office and this is train you can see the train so these trains go right in the center they go to Pavilyatsky Vakzal which is Pavilyatsky train station and it costs 420 rubles which is five pounds must have been 82 82 rubles to the pound five just over five pounds and you are in the center of moscow you guaranteed to arrive there in 47 minutes there is never ever way you can do it while you are um, in the taxi and you're driving like um, through through moscow and from there it's pretty much wide um, sort of network of um, underground stations so that's what I wanted to show you let me walk around a little bit and if I find something else I'll show you um, at the moment nothing else really um, but I feel I feel pretty pretty good here it's quite secure very warm though plus 25 today I think um, never mind through um, customs and passport control yet but those are shops outside and it's quite well put a little bit too much I think for the airport when you think about it but quite nice clean pretty um, Swiss watches departures it's a waiting area for local departures and I've just been to the pharmacy got a couple of things that you never buy in England and I'm pre pretty happy with it so I think I'm gonna go in now so guys I haven't found actually anything exciting anymore to show you um, this is pretty much like any other airport in the world I know there are a few sections of that that's not only I don't think this is the only section actually there is another one on the other side so yeah um, I will be going soon and I see you with my other videos at some point maybe next weekend now this weekend has been somewhat different I'm um, all the best have a good week and I see you soon